Good afternoon and welcome to Varsity. I'm Ryan Aber, joined by Bob Prisbilla. We're going to talk about the OSSA State Swimming Championships coming up this weekend at OCCC. Uh, Bob, I guess the first question is, can anybody beat Jinx on either side? Short answer <laughs> is no. The long answer is no. Uh, Jenx is just so dominant. Uh, John Turner does such a great job with the boys and girls, and they, they love being coached by him, and he loves those kids. And, I mean, Edmund North has got a lot of depth on the boys' side, and they should give him a run for their money, but this is definitely Jenx at this point. And uh, a little bit different format here than we've had in the past. Yeah, there were real big complications last year with having 5A and 6A going at the same time. A lot of parents, superintendents, officials from schools weren't able to see the kids swim because it was just too full in the aquatic center. So this year you've got 5A going Saturday morning and then at 4 o'clock 6A will, uh, will begin and that way everyone will be able to see their, their son, daughter, or kids win. And this is a place that there was uh, capacity problems even before the, the split when they were uh, just uh, doing it the old way a couple years ago and then obviously last year with more people making the state tournament uh, even became worse. Yeah, swimming has really started to gain some steam, you know, definitely the success of uh, Sam Woodward helped that, but now, you know, you're seeing what has come off of that. You've, I think swimming's at an all-time high in this state in terms of kids coming out and that, I think that's, that's great for the kids and it's great for the sport. And uh, you mentioned Sam Woodward. Mention, tell me about one player to watch this year. If you're going to the state tournament, who's the one person to keep your eye on? I think you gotta look at Dakota Wheeler from Westmore. He was sensational last year. He set conference records. And as a senior, he's been just as dominant. He's signed with South Dakota. And you know, he's so casual about things, but he really is someone that if, if you can go there this weekend, you're gonna remember seeing him swim. Well, Bob, thanks for joining us and thank you. And check us out every day at newsok.com slash varsity for the best high school coverage anywhere.